All right, what's going on, people? String interpolation. String interpolation allows us to insert variables or values into a string literal. We proceed a string literal with a dollar sign, and then any placeholders within a string literal that is interpolated, we can use to insert values or variables within. So here's an example of where string interpolation could be useful. Let's say we have three variables, first name, last name, and age. Let's declare those. String, first name, make up a first name. String, last name, make up a last name, and then an age. Okay, so what if we would like to display somebody's first name, last name, and their age? Let's use a standard string literal first, and we'll look at the differences. So if I would like to display something like, hello plus first name, plus I'll add a space, plus last name, and then maybe add like a period at the end. Well, I would have to concatenate all of these separate strings together. And then let me display age to console.writeline, you are plus age plus years old. So this works fine, but an easier way is to use string interpolation. So what we're gonna do is create a string literal and then precede this with a dollar sign and then write a string normally. Hello, wherever you would like to insert a value or variable, add a set of curly braces as a placeholder. And I would like to insert first name here, then add a space. And here within my string literal, I will insert last name and then maybe add a period to the end. And let's do the same thing with our second line. So we need a string literal, a double set of quotes, precede this with the dollar sign, you are, curly braces, age, years, old. And this will do the exact same thing. However, it's less work. So hello, first name, last name, you are age, years old. Another thing that you can do too is that when you display one of these values, you can allocate some room after the variable name, add a comma, and then how many spaces you would like to allocate. Let's say that when I display my age, I would like to allocate 10 spaces worth of room to display my age. And this is what that looks like. You are, then I have 10 spaces, including the two digits in my age. And if this was negative, this would be left aligned. So my age is all the way over here, then I have eight spaces afterwards. So yeah, that's string interpolation. It allows us to insert variables into a string literal. We precede a string literal with a dollar sign, and then curly braces within as placeholders for values or variables. So yeah, that's string interpolation in C sharp. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to smash that like button, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.